gather round and hear my tale. There once was a man who was browsing a site that had many obscure games for sale. They were very cheap, and the man could not resist. For when he gazed upon a game simply titled Hotel, he had to know what sort of person would make such a game with such a banal name. Here begins that adventure. Would you look at that next generation water, oh my god. By the way, pay special attention to her hair. Notice how it clips through the uh, pillow behind her. Damn, this music makes it sound like a thriller. This is getting exciting. Oh, well, so much for that. Look at that face. It's really amazing how much detail they've managed to put into it. It's so... it's so lifelike. Look at that, in particular the eyes. They just seem just full of life. Absolutely teeming with it. It's really amazing. A fuse box. Alright, we gotta get on the lights. What have we got here? Alright, let's just turn them all to green. Simple enough. Oh, what the hell? What the... Who the hell designed this fuse box? Jesus! Some sort of masochist. Come on. Really? Ah, a small forklift. Maybe I can manage to lug it around. Should I try? Uh, sure. Oh. You are actually lugging around a small forklift in your pocket. Does she have a portal to another dimension in her pocket? Well, let's go ahead and see what's inside of the basement. He's floating. He also seems very shiny. Sort of like a red rubber balloon. And he just disappeared into the wall. Oh, and the lighting inside of here just completely changed from green to a very warm sort of yellow. Okay. This isn't actually my hotel, so I don't really want to complain too much, you know? It's not really my problem, but... The fire appears to be leaking outside of the fireplace, and that has me a little bit concerned because I don't want to burn to death. I am about to ruin your sense of perspective. Okay, look at the bottom left of the screen. Your brain is telling you that you're seeing two very large barrels, and we're looking we're looking from a downwards perspective. And these two barrels tower over me because they're obviously taller than this wine rack, and this wine rack is taller than me. But then, watch what happens when I do this. Wait a minute. So I saw a bee-robed demon fly into the wall here, so... Since I'm a guest of this hotel, I take an axe and completely destroy their property? In the hopes that I might find something that will allow me to chase the ghost that went through the wall? The ghost which is almost certainly an illusion, a, a hallucination of my... messed up brain? 
Right, well, there's a detective inside of that crime scene there, and I want to get in there as well, but he won't let me in. So, I know just the thing to do. Given that I've already destroyed hotel property by smashing a gigantic barrel in the basement with an axe, because I saw a ghost, I'm thinking it probably wouldn't be too extreme of a leap to go ahead and set off the fire alarm. <laughs> oh my god, that running animation. <gasps> Beautiful. What is going on? Where the hell am I? I... I appear to have fallen into some sort of dimension where someone has applied a Photoshop filter to everything. And overlaid it on top of the other image of this hotel room in its normal state. Dear God, what is happening? Wait, don't tell me. I can put this six and a half foot ladder in my pocket. Of course I can. And we can go fast and slow and fast and slow and fast and slow and fast and slow. Well, given that I've destroyed a huge barrel in the basement with an axe to uncover a secret entrance where uh, I saw a ghost, and I've also set fire to a piece of paper to set off the fire alarm even though there was no real emergency, I suppose why not break into these padlocks? And look at material that's not rightfully mine. Hmm, well, to open up that little thing over here, where the ghost went into, I need to pour some sort of a liquid over it. Unfortunately, I am not a normal human being and I don't have access to water or any such normal liquids, so it appears that I need to steal some wine from the wine storage of this hotel. Yeah, why not? I mean, I've, ever, I've already destroyed a barrel in the basement with an axe to chase a ghost that I saw, and I've burned some paper to set off a fire alarm even though there was no real fire or emergency, and I've used a paperclip to get into some boxes that contained property that was not mine. So why not pour potentially thousands of dollars worth of wine onto uh, some stone? That seems perfectly reasonable. Hole in the ground? Is this a hidden chamber or something? Well, and I've got a ladder in my pocket, so, you know, why not? The stars are aligning. Oh no! I'm not going down there without some light! It's too dark! I wouldn't see a thing in there! Well, it's a good thing I also shoved a candle in my pocket. Alright, we have light. I knew this candle will be... I knew this candle will be useful. I knew this candle will be useful? Wait, what? I knew this candle will be useful? No, the, 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 no, the tenses aren't right. No, you can't do that. The English language doesn't allow it. The only object she'll actually comment upon in here is this vase. And here's what she has to say. Not even my grandma would plant flowers in a vase as ugly as this one. Well, since it's so damn ugly, let's go ahead and smash it. Ooh, a key. And our wanton property destruction continues. I was just looking around. I didn't touch those boxes, I swear. I'm relieved to hear that. Those boxes are private, you know. Of course I do. They just seemed so unusual that I had to look. Wait, so she just did, she just said that she didn't do it and now she's admitting that she did do it? You're not very good at lying, Detective Brightstone. In fact, you could say Detective Brightstone is not very dim. Oh, yes, please, please come in. Sit or stand just Make yourself comfortable. I have some delicate matters to discuss with you. Let's just use this letter opener to break into the owner's wife's desk. Why not? 
Ooh, marbles. Well, it would seem I'm supposed to match these things with what's up here on these decorative ornaments. These are some golden symbols near the ceiling. Looks like small triangles or something. It's a shame, though, that the small triangles are so small and so compressed that I can't actually properly see which way they're facing to match them up with the puzzle. A parchment piece? Did somebody... Somebody ripped up a parchment and just threw all the pieces amongst the bookcase? Why? Who would do such a thing? Why would you do that? What's the point? I mean, I can get if you're frustrated at something, you might tear it apart, but then you just, like, leave it on the floor or something. Who would actually take the time to tear something apart? Apparently calmly. And then calmly place the pieces throughout the bookcase. What kind of an insane person does that? What do I... What do I do with them? Oh. Someone ripped up a map thing. But if they didn't want anyone to find the map, why didn't they just, like, hide it or burn it or throw it away? So they wanted people to be able to find the map, but they wanted them to have to work to reassemble it? What? What? I don't understand. The map doesn't even seem to fit this little, like, rectangle they've given me to build the map in. It doesn't even fit. Why doesn't it fit? Have I built the map wrong? It looks right. Am I done? Oh no, it doesn't think I'm done. Why doesn't it think I'm done? No, what's wrong with my map? Oh god. What's wrong with my map? What's wrong with my map? Oh god, what have I done? And so, after being a guest at the hotel for only two days, he had already smashed a barrel in the basement with an axe. He had set off the fire alarms with a piece of paper. He had lockpicked some crates meant for someone else. He had poured the hotel's vintage wine upon the ground. He had smashed a vase in the weird pot under the cellar under the weird thing. No one really knew what that place was, and the vase was ugly, so no one really cared about that part. And he had picked a lock in the hotel owner's wife's office and stole her marbles. And finally, he had gone insane, reassembling a map. So ends this tale.